I'm curious if you can explain the logistics for a patient um, for a window of opportunity trial or an early phase. And what does the patient do in order to take part in the pharmacokinetic and dynamic phase? What we call phase zero trials and another um, version of it is a window of opportunity trial are basically trials where um, what you're doing before you do anything is you're trying to ask and answer two questions. One, does the drug get to the patient's brain tumor? And two, does it hit its target adequately? These trials can be deployed really at any point in the life cycle of a drug. The way it works for patients um, in what we call a phase zero hybrid trial, which is what we do at the Ivy Center, is um, you'll have a patient that may have a newly diagnosed or a recurrent, for example, glioblastoma, although we do it for all different types of tumors. And that patient is scheduled for surgery. And we may know something about the biology of that patient's tumor. We may know some of its genetics, its genomics, its epigenetics, et cetera. But we know enough about the tumor biology to be able to think about it in a more narrow way about what drugs that are experimental may be applicable for this patient. 